So now Star and I have collected some soil samples. Star, don't don't knock them over. For doing our color, and I like to use these also for redoxomorphic features. And um, let's see, no, 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 no! Don't be messing with my samples. Get shoo, shoo. So we better get started because I think I think she could knock them down here at any second. So uh, let's see. Okay, so. For the first sample, I'm going to take it, and we want to do a rubbed color for the first sample. And there's plenty of moisture in this, but I'll go ahead and work up a bit of a texture ball anyway here, um, just to make sure this is rubbed up a little bit. Getting a lot, of, a lot of extra help here from Star. A lot of help. No! Shoo! Get! You're so pretty, but so such a stinker. Okay, so got my Mansell soil color chart here. I'm gonna pull a page out of it. The best way to do this is to take and have the um, the soil sample behind the, one of these holes. You hold it up, and this is just not gonna work very well to do this. I think actually on screen, so I'll just tell you what I get. Um, so I'm gonna call that one a 10YR. I'm gonna call that, I think, 10YR31 today. NYR31. And I'm gonna write that on my soil profile description sheet. The second horizon, I'll take, it's plenty of moist already, so I don't need to wet it, but I just wanna get a fresh ped face open. Hold it behind the page here. Let's see. I think I'll also go 10 yr 31 on that one as well. Let's see. Third horizon here. Hold that up. And this one is just loaded with shiny clay films, so it's almost difficult to get a color. Here. So now I am faced with an interesting decision. So I'll move the camera to make sure I can uh, see well enough here. So the question is, is this a Moloch color or not? So if it's darker than 3-3 three, three on this page, so that would be 3-3, three, 3-2, three, three, two, three, one, two, two, or 2-1 two, on this page. Um, that's a kind of interesting thing to know. So let's see what I get here. So... I think it's still darker than, I don't think it matches up here very well. So 3-3 three, three or 3-4? Three, Let me see. Need to get closer to my face here. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to go with a 10 wire 4-3 as the matrix color. But I think I'm going to put a 10 wire 3-3. Three, three for the pet and void surface feet, uh, sorry, yeah, for the pet and void surface features box right here for this one. So for the first two horizons, I didn't note any clay films, but for this third horizon, like I said, for the color, I'm gonna go 10YR43, but for the color of the clay films, that's when I noticed them. So I like to write things down when I notice it. I'm gonna say 10YR33 is the color of the clay films. So there's two colors in there, and I know, what am I talking about with clay films? I'm talking about all of these shiny surfaces that coat many of the outsides of the peds. So they're shiny, and they are alluvial clay films that have moved down through many, many, many years and have coated the outsides of the piece of the soil. So... Um, I am going to say that there are also, I'll go ahead and describe those clay films right now. So I want to say the percentage and I want to note something, um, let's see, so for the pen void surface features, the percentage. So I'll go ahead and say maybe 25% of the surfaces are covered. 
and that they are, to me, they are, well, let's see. For now, I'm going to put faint, but I'll check that one. Um, they are pretty continuous. They are clay film, so I'll write CLF for that. And the location, I'm going to put on PF for ped faces, meaning that they're on both the vertical and the horizontal ped faces. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to cross dash that out for the top two. Okay, so back to color. So for the fourth horizon, that's up here in this corner. So for the fourth horizon, I'll hold up my soil color chart and pick out another color here. And for this one, I think I will go ahead and go, uh, I think I'll go one color, one chip over and call that a, I think I'll call that a, no, I think I'm going to stay there. I think I'm going to stay there and call it a, uh, four, three as well, actually. So my pencil is kind of camouflaged today, so keep setting it down somewhere four three and for the clay films I am going to say pretty much all the same information transfers down to that second to that same horizon so I'm gonna put the same information there now this next horizon has quite a color change it gets a lot redder a lot brighter um, it does still have a lot of clay films in it. A lot of clay films. My goodness, I might almost increase the amount of clay films here. They're just on all of these um, surfaces here. Very shiny here surfaces. Not over here, but right here where they're very shiny. So let's see. I'll take this page back out again. See if I like anything on this page. Um, I don't mind a 10 wire 44 but I think I might check the next redder page in my book, which is going to be the seven and a half YR page. Um, I think that's what I'm going to check here. I think I'm going to say that I will go ahead and go with a seven and a half YR four four for this last horizon. So seven point five YR. Four, four is my color. So for clay films, now I have to decide all that same information. So the kind, I was getting a clay film. Let's see the, the percentages. Now this is interesting. I want to show you this to you right now. So here I have a rock. It's kind of, it looks like a great big old piece of sand and it's clear colored. That is an igneous piece of rock. That would be a little piece of quartz, maybe that had weathered out of a bigger piece of granite at some point. But that piece of quartz right there is a very important clue to the parent material uh, for this site. So I'm going to put that here in my last hole, open hole. And there's also an interesting chunk of something right here that I want to look at and see if that's a rock or let's see if that fizzes if I put acid on it. You know, oh yes that definitely fizzes and I don't think that was a piece of rock I think that was an old carbonate so that's a good piece of information to put down too so there are some masses of carbonate in that horizon okay so this fifth horizon we need to put a K on it because we found those secondary carbonate masses and so um, as far as effervescence I checked this earlier in the pit and all of the horizons were non-effervescent, so I'll put that there. But that concentration in the fifth horizon was a calcium carbonate nodule, so I'm going to put C-A-N. I will say I don't think there's too many of them, so I might just go ahead and put down like 1%. Um, we could describe that color, although I destroyed that one with the acid, but I could go find another one. Uh, I could probably approximate its color here too and say like if I had to pick a color off before I messed with it it was probably pretty close to this 10YR73 color kind of it was kind of yellowish it wasn't a real bright white one looked maybe it's kind of old 10YR let's see uh, 73 for carbonate nodule here is where I'll put that in this box Okay, 
Didn't see any of the other resins to put down. Okay, so for clay films, I'll finish that thought while I'm thinking about it. I might go ahead and put down 25% faint continuous clay film on all ped faces. And I would say that the color here of the clay films is maybe around a 10YR43. 10YR43 for the clay films. So, you know, not, not a ton of contrast. That's why I said they were faint, but they're still noticeable. They're, and it definitely makes it sort of look a little bit uh, blotchy there. So, got my colors done now. And rock fragment percent. Uh, let's see, it's a column. I'll wait to do that one for just a minute. Could do consistence. Now, as far as models go, we have no models, but we do want to do a very careful look for redox amorphic features. So let's do that now with the samples that we have in the pan. May need the color book for that if we have some. So in the pan, let's see. Pick this up again. Look at the pan. I have not observed any in the top horizon so far. Um, I won't, don't think there's any there. So, that makes that box easy. We get to just dash that one out. The second horizon, look at that one very carefully. Take my glasses off, let's see. Look very carefully. It's 